On this episode of Tombstone Tuesday, we stop in Union Springs, Alabama for a look at the final resting place of the man that some people believe wrote Butterfield's Lullaby. Yes, that Butterfield's Lullaby, the melody that we recognize as Taps. The best known story of Taps is that it was written by General Dan Butterfield of the Union Army after the Seven Days Battles near Richmond, Virginia. He did not like the standard bugle call used to tell his soldiers to go to sleep, so he rewrote an older call and had it played by Private Oliver Wilcox Norton. According to Union buglers, the melody became so popular that Confederate musicians started playing it too. And it was not long before it became a standard melody for use during military funerals. As you might expect, Southern storytellers had a different version. The story told around Bullock County, Alabama, is that the man who composed Butterfield's lullaby wasn't a Union general at all, but a Confederate major. In fact, he's buried here, beneath what is now the Red Door Theater in downtown Union Springs. Major Milton Butterfield of the 24th Alabama Infantry was a pretty good piano player, and his family says that he composed the melody as funeral music. In fact, friends and relatives recalled hearing him play it on the piano after the fall of Vicksburg. Major Butterfield was killed during the fighting around Atlanta in 1864, and a marker was placed for him in a family cemetery. Trinity Episcopal Church was built over that grave in 1909. Now, the structure is no longer a church. It was sold to the town in 2002 and is now home to the Red Door Theater. In fact, it's listed on the National Register of Historic Places, but for architectural reasons, not because the major is buried beneath it. It may not really matter which door you believe, Musicologists now believe that the tune was actually adapted from an older melody in the first place. In Union Springs, Alabama, I'm Dale Cox for Two Egg TV.